Hi everyone, this is Heather from WeddingsbyHeather.com where my goal is to equip you with the best techniques and tips to make you a better and more efficient photographer. In this Q&A video, I'm going to dive deeper into the print module inside of Lightroom, but first, make sure you check out my free workflow video series available on my website. In a previous video, I covered how to create a collage for your blog that contained color blocking. You can click the link to view that video. Today, we're going to take this one step further and add some custom text to our collage. I've always felt that there was a limiting factor inside of the print module with Lightroom that you couldn't add custom text and sort of move it around and stylize it. So I was playing around one day with it and I found some really cool features that I, I really wasn't able to find when searching online. So I feel like they're um, pretty undocumented. <laughs> and when I came across them, I was thrilled. So the first thing I did was I thought, what if I wanted Weddings by Heather on separate lines, not just straight across? So I came into the identity plate and I chose edit and I came in here and I tried to press return and that didn't work. It just took me back. I tried to press shift return. That didn't work. And I was thinking there has to be a way to do this. And then I, I was just started pressing the modifier keys and return. And finally, what I landed on is if you hold down option on the Mac or alt on the PC and you press return, then it will take it to the next line. You can say, okay. And you see what happened. It took it to the next line and I can drag it and make it bigger or smaller. So that got me thinking if I could get the text to go to a new line via a carriage return, then maybe I could customize this further. So I really started playing with it more and I was pleasantly surprised at everything we could do. Okay, so let's say you wanted to put a quote on this photo. Let's jump over to Max text edit application. And I've just copied and pasted this verse that I found um, in my Bible and I want to add it to this photo. Okay, so you can put any text in here you would like. If you don't have a Mac and you don't have text edit, you could probably just do this in a Google Doc. The only thing is whatever font you choose has to be a font that you have on your system. So for instance, if you're in Google Docs and you choose the lobster font and you come into Lightroom and you try to use it, Lightroom isn't going to recognize it unless you have that font installed on your machine, which I do not. So I like to use text edit because it's going to be the same fonts that I have available to me inside of Lightroom. Okay, so I typed this out or pasted it. I'm sorry. What I'm going to do is copy it again. And the way to achieve that by pressing command A, that's control A on the PC, and then command C or control C to copy it to my clipboard. I'm going to come back into Lightroom, back into my identity plate, I'm going to delete that text. It's there. It's already selected. So I'm just going to press delete or backspace. Then I'm going to paste with a command or control V and say, OK. Whoa, this, <laughs> this blew my mind. This was really exciting. This is the beginning of something really cool. And if this doesn't excite you, then you don't have a soul because what we're going to do next is unbelievable to me. I mean, that we can do it inside of Lightroom. So I'm going to jump back over to text edit because I thought, OK, all right, we're getting somewhere. So what if I wanted to change these fonts? So I'm going to change this font to Trojan Pro. Um, that's uh, an all caps font that I really like to use. And I'm going to make it I don't know, maybe about 24. I'm going to change the word love just by selecting it to this champagne font because it's really pretty and I'm going to make it really big, 72. And the rest of this, I'm also going to change to Trojan Pro. What size did I make that? 24. Select that again. I want it to be the same, 24. And you know what? I actually want that L to be capitalized. So there we go. Now I can do a command or control A. Commander Control C. So I select it all. I copy to my clipboard, back over to Lightroom, into the identity plate, edit, Command V, and say OK. Wow! We're really making some progress here. Obviously, you could tweak this to your heart's content to get the font the way you liked it. Let me show you a few more tricks, and then we will print this to file or save it. We could also save it. Back over into text edit. I'm going to add some spacing just by pressing return or enter on my keyboard. I think, let's look back at this. I think this could be a little bit bigger too. So I'm going to leave my Bible verse small, but I'm going to change this to 48. And then I want this bigger, obviously, if the rest is. Let's do 96. Command or control A to select all. Command or control C to copy. Back over to Lightroom. Edit the identity plate. 
command or control V to paste, say OK. And actually what I need to do is just make this bigger. There we go. And the last thing I want to do is center that text. So let's jump back to text edit and just choose center. It's already selected, so I can just do a command or control C to copy it. Back over to Lightroom, command V to paste and say OK. I cannot believe this, that we can do this inside of Lightroom. This is blowing my mind. Fantastic. Oh, see, I'm super picky. I want, I want a space between love and the next statement. Back over to text edit, carriage return, command or control A, command or control C. You'll get really used to these. Edit, command V or control V to paste. Okay, there we go. That looks better. And I can make this as big or as small as I want. And again, if I like this, I could save this as a template by clicking the plus button and naming this love collage because <laughs> that sounds awesome and click create and then I could just print that to file and have it with my other one and again this is something that you could come into and just modify to your heart's content so if you wanted to use a different verse every time uh, a different quote you could just come in and modify your identity plane you could when you create these what you could do is save this you could save this as this is the love verse that I like to use say save and okay there it is, love verse. And I hope you're starting to get the picture that what you can do is create several quotes as identity plates that then when you come into your identity plate, you could just have a list here of different verses or quotes that you like to use. You could stack them there and then just use them, you know, in different photos or however you want to show it. I hope that you found this useful. I was thrilled when I discovered this. So please subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next video.